Maley's farm has a barn for cows and ostriches. Each day, each cow produces a gallon of milk, which Maley sells for $1.50, and each ostrich lays an egg, which she sells for $5. Maley's daily income from the barn is $138. Write an equation representing the number of cows and ostriches living in Maley's barn. So C is the number of car cows. And so every cow produces $1.50 worth of milk per day. So the total dollar amount produced from cows at Maley's farm is $1.50 times C, times the number of cows. So this is, how much, this is how much she makes off of the cows per day. Now let's think about how much she makes off of the ostriches per day. O is the number of ostriches, and each ostrich produces a $5 egg each day. So the total she makes off of the ostriches is 5 O. So the total, the total that Maley makes per day, well, they tell us her total income is $138. $138. $138. So that's the first part. This is an equation representing the number of cows and ostriches living in Maley's barn, or it's relating the cows and ostriches to the total dollar value that she produces. If Maley's barn is home to 36 animals, how many of them are ostriches? So it's essentially where the ostriches plus the cows are 36, how many are ostriches? So let's, let me get my little scratch pad out here to tackle this part. So this first part, the first part, we said each cow produces $1.50 per day worth of stuff. So this is a total amount, total income from the cows. And the total income from the ostriches, let me do that in a color that you can actually see. The total income from the ostriches, $5 per egg per ostrich times, times O ostriches. And that's not a zero, that's an O. That's why O is not typically used for variables in algebra problems, because it looks like a zero. But we'll remember that this is an O right over here. And we said that the total income, the total income is going to be $138. $138. Now, Maley's barn is home to 36 animals. And we're assuming that they're only going to be ostriches or cows. So cows, cows plus ostriches, cow plus ostriches is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 36 is going to be equal to 36 so there's a couple of ways that we could solve this now we have two equations with two unknowns two linear equations with two unknowns so there's a bunch of ways we could solve it with substitution we can solve it by taking multiples of these equations and adding them to eliminate variables oftentimes it's called elimination but let's do it why don't we we might as well do it with Let's do it with substitution. So let's subtract a C from both sides. And so we get the number of ostriches is equal to 36 minus the number of cows. 36 minus the number of cows. And so we can take, it, we can take this expression here and substitute it for O up here. And so this equation will become 150, or I could just write 1.5 times the number of cows plus five times the number of ostriches, but we just said the number of ostriches needs to be equal to 36 minus C. So we could write that as five times 36, 36 minus C. I just substituted this expression in for O. 36 minus C is equal to 138. Now, what was valuable about this is now we have one equation with one unknown. We can solve for the number of cows. And then later, we could solve for the number of ostriches. I guess if we wanted to go directly to the number of ostriches, we could have substituted for C instead of for O. But we will get there either way. So we get 1.5 times the number of cows plus what's 5 times 36? 5 times 36, let's see, 5 times 30 is 150 plus 5 times 6 is going to be another 30. So this is going to be 180. So plus 180 minus 5c, minus 5c is equal to 138, is equal to 138. So let's see, let's, um, well, let's, let's add 5c and subtract 1.5c from both sides. So let's do this, let's add 5c, 5c, and I'm really trying to get the c's on the right hand side. So we're gonna add 5c to both sides, we're gonna subtract 1.5c from both sides. So subtracting, 
So minus 1.5c. And let's subtract 138 from both sides. Minus 138. So I'm really, I'm really trying to get, I'm really trying to get all my all my c's on the right hand side and all my constants on the left hand side. And so this is going to be end up with, we are going to end up 100 minus 138. So 80 minus 30 would be 50. So 80 minus 38 is 42. So it's going to be 42 is equal to, is equal to, see these cancel. 5 minus 1.5 is going to be 3.5. Equal to 3.5c. And like maybe I could do it up here. And see, 3.5 is the same thing. Let me write this. 3.5 is the same thing as 3 and 1 half, which is the same thing as 7 over 2. So let's rewrite it that way. 7 halves times c is equal to 42. Or if we multiply both sides times the reciprocal of 7 halves, we multiply both sides times 2 sevenths. So 2 over 7 times 2 over 7, we get c is equal to, see 42 divided by 7 is equal to 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. So there are 12 cows on the farm, which is not what they asked us. They want to know how many are ostriches. Well, we know that the cows plus the ostriches is equal to 36, or the ostriches is equal to 36 minus the number of cows. Well, there are 12 cows on this farm, so the number of ostriches, the number of ostriches are going to be 24. 24 of the animals are ostriches. So let's go back. Let's go back and oh, we, and luckily that is one of the choices. We type that in and we got it right.